video for Autodesk Inventor Professionals 2014. Uh, today what we're going to be talking about is three-dimensional drawing within Autodesk. Uh, let's just begin by opening up Autodesk uh, right now. I already have it open so I'm just going to bring it up to save some time. We are going to go ahead and start a new file. We always use the standard IPT file. Um, it's just the most common one we're going to be using. I'm going to double click on this. Um, again, we have our blank window here. We are going to create a, a, a 2D sketch. And we're going to click on this plane right here. Uh, what we're going to do right now is do the sketch plane cube. So that is done by drawing a cube and then editing sides on that cube in three-dimensional space. And I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to click on the rectangle tool, and right now we're in 2D, so we're going to click. We're going to start dragging up here, and we're going to click on 2, tab, 2. So we're going to make a 2x2 two two square. That's going to be a 2x2 two two cube in a little bit. So let's zoom out, and that's on our navigation um, wheel. We zoom in and zoom out, as you can see. And then if you click on the the wheel then you can pan across your drawing so that's kind of a useful tool it just takes a little bit of practice to actually get used to that so let's center our drawing right like that okay so we just drew our two by two square let's move into three-dimensional space that's something we haven't learned well, how do we get that we have to click on this finish sketch check mark towards the right hand side of the screen uh, it's just saying that you're done in 2D, we're moving into 3D. So let's just click on that. Now it's going to zoom in on this origin point uh, towards the corner. I don't really like that feature. Um, all you have to do to fix that is scroll back out and then center your drawing again. Okay, great. So it's in the center. How do we make the cube? Up in the create toolbar up here, you'll see a couple different three-dimensional tools. We are going to use the extrude tool to help us develop our cube. So we're going to extrude. Now the automatic default is one inch. We want it to, to go two inches. Before I do that though, if you are having troubles extruding something, uh, if it just doesn't extrude automatically like this for you, more than likely you're, uh, you don't have a line that is connected. If you're, if you have a square and one of the the edges that it doesn't finish uh, connecting, uh, it's not a solid shape anymore, and it doesn't know what to extrude because it's not connecting. So double check that uh, before you uh, go into a panic of why it's not working. So uh, let's just go back to this extrude tool. We just clicked on the extrude. Uh, we want to go two inches so we just click two and you can see it jumped already to two now before I hit enter I can I'll show you a couple different things that we can do here you can define the direction that it goes in so let's take a look at that we can click downward there we can go backwards in direction two we can go symmetric where we're going um, one inch on each side and then you have asymmetric where you have one inch on one side and then two on the other. Well, we don't usually use that. We're just going to go with, let's just say for right now, di direction one is coming at us. And then we click um, enter. Great, we just made a two by two cube. Pretty simple. Uh, now to get some things on our sketch plane cube, what we need to do is realize that we can select different faces okay so if you want to edit this face on the top which is the first thing that you're going to do when making the sketch plane cube you're making a cylinder go down into this cube so how do you do that well we're gonna right click on the face that we want to edit and then we go to new sketch now watch it zoom it just kind of rotated and now we're on a flat surface if you notice up on the toolbars we're back into two-dimensional space so we have our 2D tools back, like our line and our circle and our rectangle. Now you can take these tools and draw shapes on top of your three-dimensional space. Or I should better say the three-dimensional shape. 
So let's make a circle. Let's just make a, let's see, a one inch circle. So we just click one, just like from the last video, you hit enter. And we just made a one inch circle on top of our 3D cube. So we're done doing that. There's nothing else we can do. So we're gonna finish this sketch. And now you can see we have a circle on top of our square or cube. So let's put a hole down into that. How do we do that? Well, we go right back to the extrude tool. We're going to click extrude. We're going to click on just the circle. If you notice out here, it highlights the outside of the circle. No, we just want the inside. So we just clicked it. it automatically snapped into one inch so we don't want that we want to sink it down one inch make it simple and we define our direction we want it to go into the cube so we change the direction and then we just hit enter so now we just made a circle go down into our three-dimensional cube awesome now if you look on your sketch uh, or your plan on the left hand side of the cube we have a circle that's coming off of the cube so let's quickly do that using the same principles that we just uh, use so we're gonna click on the face that we want to edit right click I should say I don't know why that came up right click new sketch we're going to click the circle tool again we're gonna go find the middle with the dotted lines. We're gonna go one inch, enter. We're gonna finish our sketch, extrude. We're going to extrude half an inch or one inch like we did on the top. Doesn't really matter for this activity. And we're gonna hit enter. So now we just had a circle come off of our, our cube. Now, we're gonna make a, a square on coming off of this cube on the right hand side of this cube. So we're gonna right click on the face. We're gonna new sketch. It just brought us back into 2D again. Now, if you recall, we used the two point center rectangle from the last video. And we're gonna find the center of this rectangle using the two point center rectangle tool. So we're gonna click in the center and we're gonna start Moving towards the upper right hand corner, we want a one by one square, so we're gonna click one on our keyboards, hit tab, and then one. Enter. Great, we just made a rectangle, or I should say a square on the side of our cube. So we're gonna finish our sketch again. We're going to extrude this outwards. One inch is fine with me. We hit enter, and we just made our sketch plane cube. So we, we took a look at taking 2D shapes and then changing it into a 3D shape and then how to e actually edit that three-dimensional shape once we made it 3D. So that can be a little bit tricky, but if you use the simple tools of right-clicking and then new sketch, you'll be brought back into 2D and then you can make anything you want off of that. 3D shape. So we're going to finish the sketch again. So that's what it should look like. And another cool feature that you can do is on the drop down menu up towards the top of the screen here, and wait till it loads, is uh, we can actually add some texture to it and or some color. So you can just see in the drop down menu, um, denim blue, so that's blue jeans. I don't know why you'd want a blue jean cube, but you can definitely do that by selecting that. Um, I'm a fan of the diamond plate, metal, and as you can see there's so many different options in here and then you can even go to your material library, appearance library, and we're right now we're on the, material, the inventor material library. So give it some real world texture otherwise you can just color it different colors as well. Um, so a couple really cool features with that. So anyways, if you missed something uh, within this video, please rewind, rewatch, and as always, good luck, and please ask me any questions that you may have.